What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new, very first card that you guys can get, the pre-order, Jason Tatum. So I'm opening whatever the hell this is. I don't know what this is. This is a Meteor Impact. What the hell is a Meteor Impact? Okay, so in our first promo pack, we go and get ourselves um, gems of the game, Keith Edmondson, and a Grizzlies, and a duplicate jersey. Of course, we got a duplicate jersey. Of course, our first jersey is a freaking duplicate jersey. Um, of course, that's the first thing we get. And then we got it. Ooh, Tyrese Maxey. Okay. Okay, that one makes that one makes things interesting. That one makes things very, very interesting. We got ourselves Tyrese Maxey and we got Jakob Pertl. We got ourselves Jakob Pertl. I Again, I don't think I'm ever going to get into the auction house on this account. I don't, I'm not sure I'll ever play enough on PC to get to the auction house, but we did go and get ourselves our Jason Tatum. Our pre-order Jason Tatum. Um, I don't really care about that, but let's take a look at what Mr. Tatum, Tatum Jason is like in game. He's six eight. He can play small forward, power forward. But Jason Tatum, he's got a thousand salary, eighty four three ball. I like that. Eighty five dunk, seventy seven ball handle. No, no passable defense. Seventy five speeds, not great. Agility, okay. Speed balls, not great. He looks like an off the ball player, more so than anything. Let's check the badges. So he's got four bronze, he's got dead eye finisher, uh, physical finisher, set shot, float game, handles for days, challenger, interceptor. He has a layup, mix master, shifty shooter, strong handle, off ball menace. So he should be all right, I guess. Like for a pre-order card, there's no reason he shouldn't be at least good for that. So let's see what he is going to be like in game. So what is the, I think freestyle is in a thing called training hub. I don't know what auto fill is. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to load. We are on PC. Like. <laughs> it has to be taken into account. Like I had to lower all of my settings. Uh, let's go 2K, 110. Controller settings. High risk. What is difficulty based? I'll go high risk reward. Um, I guess. Layup timing. Ooh, real player percentage. I don't mind that. Free throw user timing. Set point. I played on last year. Um, shot meter input type. I kind of don't want to turn on the shot meter. At all. Did that turn it off? I don't know. Again, these graphics, by the way, do not look great because I am playing on really low settings on my computer. If you guys are wondering why sometimes Jason Tatum does not look like he's playing on last gen, it's because I'm playing on very, very iffy um, graphic settings right now. Okay. I'm just trying to figure this stuff out. There's basics. And I think I'm going to miss a lot of my slightlies. But again, it is high risk, high reward, I guess. Can Tatum fade? Tatum can't fade. Oh, dear Lord. That is the slowest fade I've ever seen. This game feels so slow. And it's not like... It just feels like it feels like you make a move and then like it's just unresponsive. Like it it feels like you're it feels like NBA Live. You're just getting caught in canned animations and everything. But Tatum does look like a beast though. Tatum looks like an absolute beast. Which is a big, big positive. 
big, big positive for um for people that are trying to get this game because his jump shot, his jump shot is a lot smoother than it is in real life. That's for sure. I want to see can I get into the park. I want to see what happens when I get into TT Park. Like, I wonder what player like it'll force me to bring out. Like I, I just want to see what this is like. To be fair, like, that's the whole thing. Like I want to see what this park is like. I want to see is there anyone in this park right now, or does it take a long time to get into games and stuff? Um, taking a long time to load. Which is not going to be happening on my uh, PlayStation, that's for sure. Obviously, um, my PC is four years old. So, I don't know if it can handle this game, really, <laughs> at all. So, hopefully we can get into the park. That's the biggest thing. Like... Are we actually not even going to be able to get into the park? Oh. Uh, and like, by the way, I don't know why I say this game's like old. Like, I can run FIFA no problem. I've had no problem playing FIFA online on this. It is, it's just 2K. It just loads it. It is too much to load in. Okay, so we are now in a store. I did not, my my player, I definitely picked the white, the first white guy I saw. So we're in the store, and now we have ran out into the park. Can I get something here? No, I'm, I'm blocked off. Oh. Uh. Oh. That was an anti-climax. <laughs> that was an anti-climax. I'm in Rivet City with nobody here. Nobody wants to play. Nobody wants to play in the park. Nobody wants to play in the park, unfortunately. And that's a disappointment. Nobody wants to play. Um, at least, oh cool, you can kind of just go from here, I guess. Can you? Um... I don't even know what challenges to do. There's one challenge. Is there not one challenge that's like score seven points? I can't earn my starters. I am so confused about what is going on right here. Welcome to my team. Win the game to seven points. Will not let me play it. Do I have to leave the park first? Go to my team, customize HUD. Okay, at least that let me out of there quickly enough. So, play. Let's play. Breakout. Um, TT only. Let's go, pro. Yeah, five dunks, any player, eight post moves. With any player. In a TT game to what? Get two steal seven rebounds, get three blocks, get five dunks for the player. Um Yeah, I can get five dunks and eight post moves. It's gonna be very hard to do in a game of 21 though. It's gonna be very, very hard to do. Okay, so we're playing against gems in a game. Somebody. And again, yeah, the settings that I have this on definitely feel like last gen. But, like, that's that's a me issue. I have set my PlayStation to look like this. Or did I say I set my PlayStation on my PC? Okay, just get out of my way. Okay, somebody, just get out of my way. Please, please, please get out of my way. Like, how, how am I meant to get five dunks and a post? Oh, no, I can do that. Sorry. Five dunks is 10 points. 18 points. Um, Pick and roll, I guess. 
Dunk that. Good job, Tatum. Okay, at least I let it full core press. I just got bully balled right there by Gary Payton. There you go. Let's just let me get those five dunks and let me shoot a couple of post fades. Is it just me or is there something like flashing? Is there like a strobe light flashing on screen right now? Good. Like what? What is that light? What is that flash? I, I don't know if it's a me issue or it's like a, a game issue. But if you got epilepsy, I would advise you to turn off this video. That's for sure. Okay. Um. Like what? What are these flashes? Like that's really, really annoying. A flash. Hey, we are good that we should win this game. I can bait. I think this might just be a, an issue with the game. It might be an issue again with my graphics. I should be. I might be able to turn it off. Why can I not at least just back him into a spot? This is on pro difficulty. Good job there, Tatum. At least his post fade looks nice. That's something. Like, Tatum does look pretty good, though. I do have to say, like, he does feel pretty good. It's just the whole game. Like, again, it's day 1-2-K. Like, it's always going to feel slow and clunky. What? I think is this, this might be a my PC issue. And don't worry. Don't worry. You won't really be, you won't be seeing much PC gameplay from me this year. This is, this is probably a once-off. Especially if this is going to happen every single time I try to do anything. Um... Okay, Gary Payton scores very easily on Tyrese Maxi. Why do I need any one more? I need two more dunks. At least the defense can't guard pick and rolls on low difficulty. I'm not sure that. Sorry, I, if you have epilepsy, turn off. It's hurting me, and I'm. A per, I don't have it. Every single time is a shot up, which means I think it's my. I think it's a me PC issue, to be honest. I don't think this is a 2K25 issue. Okay, so we have got our five dunks. Now let's shoot, shoot two fades. Okay, that's the thing with the high risk, high rewards. It's green or miss. I don't hate it. Like, because you can set it, you can put your setting to green or miss. Like, when you can actually make your setting on that, I don't hate it. Like, I hated green or miss back in the day, but it's like, I only hate green or miss because of, not really for myself, just what it did for other players. But, like, at least you can choose now. Where do you want to go, green or miss? So, I shoot this fade. There we go. Two, one more bucket in the point. One more bucket in the post, and I'll hit a three to win. Can I flop? Wait, what? You can't take a charge anymore. The holding circle doesn't do anything anymore. I hate adrenaline boost so much. They were the single dumbest thing 2K have ever brought into the game. And they're still the single dumbest thing 2K have ever brought into the game. Like, Tyree, I'm trying to flop and Tyree's maxi instead of flopping is just pointing. He's just standing there and pointing to, to nobody. Please, what are you doing? Oh my God, I'm going to lose this game. I'm going to lose this game because for some reason that guy is clamping me right now. Yeah, that's why he just starts pointing. If I'm trying to flop, he just starts pointing.
That's not a post move. That is definitely not a post move. Good finish though, Tatum. There's not, there's no way to take a charge anymore. Oh! Why isn't Flick on my analog stick contesting? Like, why can't I flick on my analog stick to contest? Okay, there's obviously might be a change there, or maybe like... But no, every, all the movement works fine. All my dribbling works fine. Shoot the ball. Be programmed to shoot, please. Please tell me it's not hand... Like, I know it's hand down, man down, but please tell me it's not like... Forcing, forcing your um, hand down no matter what. Unless you jump. Why is this guy the best defender in the world? There we go. There we go. It's eight post move buckets there with Tatum. And... I gotta say, this game just plays super, super slow. And it's not even the players are slow. It just plays super slow. Like, everything just feels like you're caught in animations. Like, it feels like... I think maybe if you're able to, like, trigger stuff, it's less herky-jerky moving than before. I think they patched out a lot of that. So, it's going to be interesting to see when the good six come out. Because at this point right now, like, like the game doesn't even feel responsive, which is which is an issue. Like obviously the game being slow, it is what it is. It's day one, but like the game feels unresponsive, which is not ideal. And I might need to turn off that high risk, high reward early in the game. <laughs> oh dear lord, maybe that's something to turn on in a few days. What are the behind the backs like? Like, sometimes your player will move fast, but it's like, unless they are sprinting a straight line, they will move like a slug. Oh my god, Tatum, make a shot. Okay, I'm just going to run the pick and roll. Screw it. Screw it. If this wasn't a pro difficulty, like, this is taking me like 10 minutes to finish this game. i just run the pick and roll and win it here. There we go. That was an awful, awful video. But you know what? That is the first time I played this game. And yeah, struggled big time.